bring that up. Good morning, members of the media. My name is Alor H. As the lead counsel informed you earlier, I'm the special counsel to Mazin and the Kano and the indigenous people of the Afro. I'm proudly so. Well, um, the issues are clear. Uh, there has been this, I believe, something we can call a propaganda or consistent misinformation that back in 2017, Mazen Nandekano jumped bail and therefore he deserved what he got. That's wrong. He never jumped bail. He was on bail and bond, subsisting, extant and valid as of 10th September to 14th September 2017 when the e fatal little military attacks were launched against him, Unjust unjustifiably so. And anybody that uh, really um, saw the magnitude of that attack would agree that it was directed primarily at one thing, mm -hmm. extrajudicial elimination of Martin Nandekan. Now, if you're free on bond, there's no law that requires you to sit like a, a log of wood while someone is levying attacks on you. And these attacks came from the complainant herself, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You already had him under your jurisdiction. He was before court of competent jurisdiction and he was out on bail. So what do you expect him to do in the face of those little attacks? He was going to, of course, look for ways of fleeing from the attack considering the fact that he didn't possess any weapons or any military armaments to repel or defend himself, the next natural thing for him to do as a human being uh, who is guided by the law of self-preservation was to move away from the locale of the attack. And that's what he did. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So having not succeeded in extrajudicially killing him in 2017, he then pursued him to Kenya in hot pursuit. See, this, these are the issues. They have to be clear. You pursued him from Isiama Afaruku Ibe in Abia State to Kenya. And when you got him in Kenya, instead of giving him his rights under the Kenyan law and under international law, you renditioned him in an extraordinary way. Extraordinary rendition is inherently a form of torture. It is prohibited within the framework of municipal and international laws. And those international laws, Nigeria is a state party. Nigeria herself has an extradition act. If you rendition somebody from the Federal Republic of Nigeria to a foreign nation, you've broken the laws of the Federation of Nigeria. And that is why America, that has an interest in having Abakari, be brought to the United States to answer to some judges applied to the Nigerian government to approve his extradition. So the question is, why didn't the Nigerian government... <laughs>